Welcome to Lenore Tech Training Videos. In this video, we'll show you how to create task to play a sound using your NetBell NTG. First, we'll need to log into the device. The default login is admin admin, all lowercase. From here, we'll navigate to our task page and click the edit icon for the first unused task. We can name it. I'll just name it audio file number one. Be sure to check the use checkbox to activate the task. And for device A, we'll select relay because we're going to activate this sound using the bell schedule. For data A, we'll just make it activate off of relay one so we'll type in 01 for Relay 1 and the plus sign, meaning that whenever Relay 1 turns on, it triggers this event. We won't use the logic device B or data B for this example, although we'll show you how to utilize those features in a further example. For device C, we'll select Send UART and this sends a audio file command to the audio module to play an audio file. After we selected send UART for device C, we'll need to make our data A task. For audio files, we'll always need a prefix of capital P and a postfix of OGG. The prefix capital P stands for play and the postfix OGG stands for the AUG Vorbis audio format. Now between our prefix and our postfix, we'll need to enter in our eight character long file name. This is the same file name that is loaded onto the SD card. I'll just use the default file name of a clock 03s or a large clock three seconds. We'll select the action to be on, and now we can save our task. You'll see that after we saved it, it appears in the schedule list. And then we can go and activate this task under services in and out and clicking relay number one. Now that we have a simple task using one relay, we can create a more advanced task using the logic and device B and data B fields. For the next clear task, I'll select the edit button. I'll give it a name, audio file number two. I click the use checkbox to activate the task. For device A, once again, we're going to select a relay. And this time we're going to enter 02 plus for when relay two turns on. For logic, I'll select the and option. And for device B, I'll select relay as well. Now for data B, I'll use relay number three. And for device C, I'll select send UART once more. We'll enter in P and OGG just as before, but the file name I'll select this time will be the buzzer 03S file name. The action is still set to on and I'll click save. And now this audio file will trigger whenever relay two and Relay 3 are both turned on. Now, to play the buzzer 03S audio file, I'll select both 2 and 3, and that triggers the buzzer audio file. Now that we've activated our audio files using the manual relay controls, we can activate them using the bell schedule. To do this, we can set up a schedule under Services, Bells. 
and for the first schedule I'll just name it test. I'll set it for 12 o'clock. And I'll set the duration for the same duration as the audio file, which is three seconds long. I'll click add and then add to schedule. Now relay one and two are set to be triggered on by default. However, we've only have our audio file being set to trigger using relay one. So I'll deselect relay two. That way relay one turns on to trigger the audio file. Now that we have our first schedule triggering our first audio file, I'm gonna go ahead and make a second schedule triggering our other audio file. I'll set it to one o'clock this time. And it's still three seconds long, so I'll still set the duration to three seconds. I'll go ahead and click add. However, this time our audio file is triggering off of relays two and three. So I'll deselect relay one and select relay three. That way at 12 o'clock, the audio file a clock 03s will play. And at one o'clock, the audio file buzzer 03s will play. These audio files will play Monday through Friday. However, if I want to also add them Saturday, I can just select the Saturday button under the bell schedule. If I only want one schedule to play once, I can select the once checkbox. Or if I only want to play on certain occasions and wish to turn it on and off when I feel like it, I can select a use checkbox and deselect a use checkbox.